Welcome back to the channel. I've been busy racing cars, but uh, I haven't forgot about my mini bikes. In fact, I got a mini bike jig now. I just welded up an exhaust, built these frames last week, and uh, first time I've used the torque converter, I'm about to throw the exhaust on and build a set of bars. And we're gonna go see how this thing runs with the torque converter. I have a feeling it might do 50. I don't know if I'm brave enough to go that fast on a mini bike, but uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how the torque converter works. I got the weld table. I've been working on some projects. I got a lot of parts. Just picked up a lathe, thanks to my guys at RMS Racing. And I am pumped. Got it all plumbed in and hooked up. But when I turn it on, it doesn't keep going because I know how to run it, but I've never actually run this machine. So <clears throat> I got to watch some YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah, looks like my dad's calling. My tape broke. That's not good. Slip the exhaust on, and I just gotta mount the seat. It's all just stock parts you can get from uh, Go Power Sports. My dad showed up, and I kind of got spaced on the camera stuff, but it's hard to explain the jigs. But it's nice to be able to hold everything square, keep everything in one place. It actually twisted a little bit on me, a quarter inch, but it's it's a mini bike. So getting ready to weld that in. Then I'll have a set of bars and. I'm one set of those short on having this thing complete, but I'm thinking at least I could throw those on, get the brakes all figured out, and this thing will be pretty much done, ready to ride, when Amazon shows up with these. Weld them up, check out these welds. Oh yeah, oh man, it is hot. But I do love welding. Can't touch those yet. Got those all tigged up and that is the last part I have to make on the mini bike. I've been working on this one for a while. I enjoy building stuff and uh, gets me out of the house, gets me using some tools. And uh, last but not least, I gotta drill some holes for the seat. Now, I put some bolts in there. That way, I can just kinda grease it up and set it down and mark the hole. That's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm new to the torque converter, but ultimately, this nub was hitting. Oh, my camera died. Okay, so. When you're putting this together, you need to make sure this thing spins really freely because I had it too tight and it was bound up. Um, and then you want this and this in line with each other. Uh, I don't know if I can get the camera in there. Right there. Yep, in line. Got that going. Ground off that nub. <clears throat> and we are getting so close. I'm waiting on the UPS guy to show up with a couple clamps. I painted my bars and made my bars yesterday, but now I'm working on the throttle, okay? So I got my tank loose, <clears throat> I cut off. All you really have to do when you're getting rid of the governor is unbolt this, and there's a little spring back here that you turn off of this right here. You undo the, that little spring, spin it to the back, and drill a hole, and then that is basically your throttle now. That is all we need. But I go ahead and use this so I 
cut the stud off and then just use this to get it over there. You can see where I'm at. And then I'm just gonna use some safety wire. Boom. Waiting on the bars, I got the throttle hooked up now. And I'm just gonna need the bars, a number plate, and to hook up the brakes. But uh, at this point, I might as well fire it up and uh, make sure it runs, because we got everything hooked up now. Look at what just showed up. These just got dry from uh, me painting some bars, and we have all the pieces to throw this thing on. So time to throw the bars on this thing and see how this torque converter goes. got the bars on and the brake line doesn't line up like I want but my alarm just went off to go get my kids so we're gonna slip it out of here That didn't take long. Oh, that kind of hurt. Apparently my brakes aren't as dialed in as I thought. Oh, you'll have that. Don't worry, I'm okay. Pain is temporary. Oh, and footage is forever! <laughs> the mini bike rips. And uh, if you didn't know, mini bikes are dangerous and race cars are too but uh i like building dangerous shit <sighs> yeah Whoa. 
Oh, I might feel that tomorrow. That was a pretty good one. Well, the torque converter works. It doesn't uh, shake and get the way I thought it was going to on the top end, but maybe the torque converter isn't actually doing what it's supposed to and opening all the way up and going since I was just running a circle track here. But ah, my kids are almost off the bus, so it's time to go. I will uh, kind of finish this up and do a little montage at the end here. As always, thanks for watching TMS TV. Uh, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna finish this thing up and get some pictures looks like my kids are showing up on the bus so it is time for me to go and stop playing with mini bikes i'm out Okay, first trial run, 37 miles an hour, 37 and a half, that's not terrible. Um, and it didn't feel like it was actually pulling the gear. This thing's brand new, I ran it a little bit yesterday. So it's probably not totally broke in, but it does have a heat cycle or two in it. <clears throat> Fire it up and see if we can't go faster with a little bit more straightaway. Now it says 38 miles an hour and I really don't feel like it's pulling it and maybe this thing is engaging too quick or something but it is pretty sporty with the torque converter uh, definitely has a lot of get um, I'm gonna do a couple launches right here and let's you kind of see how like it's hard to take off because it just wants to go and uh, because it's so low geared it just wants to wheelie The walk of shame. The chain fell off. And uh, that is my fault because um, I ran it hard yesterday and the chain was pretty loose. And I noticed that, but I didn't tighten it. And so after you ride a brand new chain, uh, the first ride, you kind of got to check it and make sure it's not too loose because it is still a mini bike. So ended up tossing the chain, but doesn't look like it hurt anything. And man, what a blast this thing is. I like the torque converter. It's definitely good for like um slower speed stuff but i think the other way with just a clutch has more top in and is a little bit more racy it's just kind of noisy and stuff so super pumped with the way this thing turned out and how about my mini bike oh yeah 
That is a wrap. Don't forget to go like and subscribe. Uh, the mini bike was a lot of fun to build and uh, I do sell these. So if you're interested, hit me up. Uh, they're 1500 bucks for the mini bikes, but uh, this thing rips. It's got all the goodies and uh, I take a lot of time. It's all TIG welded and stuff. So 